In today's video, we're opening up some of Yu-Gi-Oh's rarest special editions. What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening video where I have some of the most epic Yu-Gi-Oh special editions including Light of Destruction, we have Shadow of Infinity, Elemental Energy special edition, and of course we have the Tactical Evolution. You guys have seen these somewhat recently in an opening where I bought these in a collection and today we're actually gonna open them up. That's not all we're gonna be doing, that's only 12 packs there, so I did a little versus against 12 other old school packs. I mean, these aren't that old school, but we start getting more old school as we go, so you guys will see those as we get into it, but before that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Ghost Rare Eye of Tamias that we pulled the other day, yes. EX Gamer, this giveaway might not be for you, but it is also for you. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know in the comments what you think will win the old special editions or the other old packs all right before we get into this opening tonight i have another whatnot stream at 5 p.m central it's our third whatnot stream since we got back to whatnot the first two have been really really fun if you've missed them make sure to come out and just hang out you got your 15 dollars for free if you just use my link down below uh and here's some of the stuff that is going to be for sale so i'm going to be putting up for sale a lot of these 25th anniversary probably going to be doing sets of them so you guys will have a chance to pick up a set of them a lot of people have messaged me saying hey you selling those and I'm like no I'm waiting to my whatnot stream so those are gonna be available tonight on the buy-in now probably also, here's some of the singles that we will have for sale on the stream. We have a first dead Dark Paladin from Magician's Force, an Ultimate Rare Stardust Dragon. I'm also giving away a Ghost Rare Stardust Dragon, assuming it arrives in time, which it should, but I don't actually have it on hand yet, but that's gonna be given away. We gave away a Black Rose last time to someone that didn't even buy something. So keep that in mind. All you have to do is come hang out and you can win like Ghost Rares and stuff like that. So here's some stuff that I may or may not put up for sale. Some of it's, you know, I have so many cards here, not everything's gonna get sold in this stream, but uh, a lot of this stuff is going to be available so if you guys are interested in this kind of stuff come hang out use the code down below or the link down below on for whatnot and uh, get $15 for free on your first purchase I will hopefully see you guys tonight let's get into the opening all right let's start this off nice and easy with a photon hypernova pack so that's what we're gonna go with photon hypernova it's one of the newest sets you know it came out this year the rest of them are pretty old at this point so let's see we already have a uh, when I'm recording this the new leaks for the new sets coming out whatever it's called I can't even remember it's like uh Ax cyber storm access or something yeah there's a super rare i think by the time you guys see this it'll still not be out but it'll be close let's do three packs from each side because there's a special edition you know you got to open that up do three packs let's do the blazing vortex hopefully get that pot of prosperity which i recently picked up in a collection if we were able to get another one i could almost have a place that'd be pretty cool war rock we have tilted try springins digital bug we got parametaphols pendulum encore s4 showdown springins call and an arm dragon thunderbolt. So we were starting it off 0 for 2, not good for the other side. All right, one pack of raging battle before we get into the special editions. Here we go. Will we get a ghost rare? It's possible. I mean, this set could have a ghost rare. I don't remember the pack trick. We're just gonna do three for this. Crimson Fire, we have Shura, another good uh, common there. We have Guardi Quacky Mirror Guardian, Natural Tune, a lot of really good commons in this set. Uh, double Tool, maybe not money anymore, but just good cards. Deep Sea Diva, there's a crazy rare, speaking of good cards, and... Uh, an evil thorn speaking of crazy comments this card used to be like eight bucks but it did get like an ultra reprint so not anymore all right here we go let's do the elemental no 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 let's do the shadow of infinity first let's start off with the sacred beast i'm gonna rip this up in a very un uh, pleasing <laughs> unpleasing unpleasing way for you guys this is just the best way to open special editions in my opinion okay there we go um it's just best way it definitely hurts though we have an acid trap hole do we get one or two promos in here Let's see, one of four. So we get the acid trap hole. Unfortunately, uh, I think there was a better one in here, but I can't remember exactly. So I feel like they only did the wrapping on Euro ones. Am I right about that? Maybe not. I don't know. I feel like that was the case, but I might be wrong. Hopefully it is Euro, because that would mean we'd have a better chance of getting some good stuff. Acid trap hole. That's a beautiful looking card. It also looks darker than I remember, but maybe I'm thinking of the DD or the DDS promo. Is it DDS? No, not DDS. Whatever the promo is, there's a game promo version of this. Whatever that one is. What do these look like? Do they look a Euro? No, these look like NA to me. So I think they're NA. I don't know. I can't remember with Unlimited. I feel like Unlimited, you could almost pull anything, but could be wrong about that. I'm always confusing with GX because there's Euro print. There's NA print. There's Unlimited print, which is sometimes different than First Ed print. I just destroyed that package. That was, uh, that was bad. Okay. What is happening outside? Oh, there's somebody's cutting grass. Great. Just in time. All right. Four from the back. Let's see what we can get. We have an Ancient Gear Factory. Trial of the Princesses. Miracle Kids. Parasitic Tiki, Disciple of the Forbidden Spell, Ancient Gear, Golem, no, Full Salvo, Tingabito Shin, and we have a, this is a Wild Heart, by the way, 
Karma Cut. Yeah, this could be an ultimate rare. That'd be a pretty nice ulti because Karma Cut, crazy card. Honestly, I mean, really good in Duel Links, but not so much in the TCG. But back in the day, I think it wasn't bad. All right, let's uh, let's just keep going. Hopefully, you guys can't hear the guy um, either mowing or weed eating. I can't tell which one it is. Hopefully, <laughs> you guys can't hear that, but you probably can. So uh, I guess I'll just uh, talk louder. One, two, three, four. Uh, we might have some background removal action done by uh, Mr. Editor. Shout out to the editor right now, Kenneth. Okay, Silent Insect. We have End of the World. We have Goki Pond. Sam Sarah, we have Chain Thrasher and a Chainsaw Insect. So we are 0 for 2 on uh, Shadow of Infinity. I was about to say Special Edition, but I guess that would be right too. All right, third pack, Shadow of Infinity. Here we go. We have Ancient Gear. One, two, three, four. No, wait, is it four? No, I think it's three. I know it might be four. I don't know. Miracle Kids. No, it's three. Hero Kid, Trial of Princesses, Ancient Gear. Full salvo, Tikabito, Shein, end of the world. Oh, it was four. Okay, BES covered core. Hey, look, we got a foil. I don't think this is going to be $1, but hey, maybe it is. All right, three packs from the other side. Raging battle. We got a couple of these here. Can we get that power tool dragon? One, two, three. Ghost rare right here. We have a uh, iron core, immediate disposal, wrecking power. Vanguard of the dragon, evil thorn again, not a bad card. Black whirlwind, uh, the green bay hunter. There we go. We got Aaron Rodgers. Oh, wait, there's the there's the foil of super rare delta crow anti reverse. So it looks like you got to do the little super pack trick there and do that. Okay, so we got a Delta Crow anti reverse. Our first foil on this side, so that means, um, I mean, is that worth anything? I doubt it, but maybe. All right, next pack. That feels like a duelist pack kind of card, which means it's probably not money, but maybe that also means it hasn't been reprinted, so maybe it is money. Okay, we're gonna do this. So that was what would have worked last time. Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, we have a Urgent Synthesis, Quakimiro Doom, Alien Doge. Gadget Arms, Morphtronic Scopin, Wicked Rebirth, Lava Dragon, Ojama Country. This was a $10 rare for a while. For a while, you could open this set and it was insane value. If you open the special editions, you get the promo. You could potentially find that weird Vice Dragon card. It was so fun. I used to do this. I used to open special editions. Go watch those videos. But I think we got a synchro here. There's a lot of synchros in this set. But the Ghost Rare is a synchro. The Ultimate Rare is a synchro. Here we go. Oh, Armdwing! I feel like I've been trolled by Armdwing before. Hey, that's a great card. I mean, I'll take it, but ah, uh, it's just an Armdwing, not a Ghost Rare. I thought for a second we had it. All right, we have one more pack for three in a row on this side. Dark Revelation Volume 2. We can get Black Cluster Soldier, Chaos and Murder Dragon. Can we pull something crazy? These are annoying because you never know where the foil is. So you can't do a pack trick. You just got to go. Tip number 28. I'm sure some of you guys love that because you hate the pack trick. There's a super rare. Hey, look, pack trick would have made this pack more fun. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Legacy Hunter. We have a super rare right off the bat. That's two super rares in a row for the other old school pack site. Wow. That's, wait, look at that foil. Or look at this. It has almost a glossy finish, kind of like an LOB first ed card. Interesting. It kind of has the texture of one too. That's weird. Maybe it's a Euro pack. I don't know. Interesting. All right. Uh, what else is in here? Anything interesting? Piranha Army. We have DNA Transplant, Solar Ray. Oh, look. Weevil and a Triangle Power. So pretty boring pack other than the foil. So Maybe we didn't miss anything. All right, next up, let's do this tactical evolution. This is the weird tactical evolution where the cards are slimy. So it's an iconic one. Let's open this up. Let's see if we can get some slimy card. I mean, we definitely will because they're all slimy. But if you guys don't know what I mean, you'll see in a second. Okay, so here we have our promo, which is slimy, by the way. And it's also dented because it's in one of those weird special editions where they always get bent up and it's impossible to avoid. I don't know if you guys could tell. It's very waxy. It's very shiny. It's very slick. And it's also very, like... It leaves residue on your hand almost. It's very weird. One of the weirdest prints. This was all during this, I think it was 2007 or 2008. Uh, Champion Pack 4 was like this as well. All the sets around here had super weird printing. Also a weird thing with these tactical evolutions. Foils in here often have damage right down the middle like they got run over by like a roller or something. Uh, let's try Lab of the Nightmare. Let's see what we can get. Uh, here, let's get our uh, slimy lab cards. So uh, yeah, as you can see, they got the thing down the middle. It's pretty normal for these cards. Very slick. Very weird, feel much different than the originals. We have Fairy Box, Scroll of Bewitchment, Rock Spirit, Saint Joan. Look how light that is. Yeah, you can really tell. Lady of Santa Flames, Empress Mantis, Spirit of the Flames. We got Infinite Cards. Is that our rare? Wait, you might get a foil too. Okay, we didn't get anything. So, nope. We don't have a foil to show you guys like how weird it gets, but these just are the weirdest cards. I don't know if you got, you can kind of see this versus, let's say, this new card right here. I mean, just look how shiny it looks. Hopefully we pull a foil. Um, I, I, won't, I won't say hopefully it has the damage, but 
I think it would be cool to pull a rainbow dragon and has that damage right down the middle. I mean, I'd be kind of upset because it'd be a rainbow dragon, but I would also be like, look, this is crazy. Venom Serpent. We, I don't know if it actually did it to the ghost, though. Volcanic Rat, Snake Whistle. We have a Ringe Gatekeeper of Dark World. Cocoon Party. I mean, I would love the ghost trade either way. I don't care if it's damage. Ritual Raven. I do care if it's damage. I would I would rather it not be. Okay. Oh, an Elemental Hero Dark Bright. Whoa. Boom, I should say. Going back to the old school. And look, there it is. There's your classic damage. Anytime you see this damage on a card that's slick like this, you, I mean, you might be like, wow, it must have gotten damage after the pack. It did it. It got damage in or not in the pack. Before the pack, I should say. Then they put it into the pack. Look at this. Horrific damage. Wow, that is bad. Look how bad it is. And it's an Elemental Hero Dark Bright. That's pretty cool, actually. I mean, not a very expensive card, so not as big of a deal that it's like rolled on. Okay, next pack. Pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I'm getting into a lot of lore of cards here while I'm opening these, but that's, I mean, that's why you guys are here, right? I mean, let me know in the comments. Am I talking too much? I've heard that many times. I've had, I've had emails, guys. Okay, Venom Snake. We have Ambush Fangs, Ringe, Cocoon Party. We got Ritual Raven, Spell Reclamation, and a Convert contact so one foil out of that special is honestly pretty good okay here's the score you guys have been keeping up with it we're only halfway through this opening i'm kind of kind of taking my time a little bit i'm not gonna lie okay uh let's keep going mega dog marin let's see what we can get no pack trick here because i don't know what it is catnip kitty monk fighter might be right in the middle flame ruler i guess it could be this one no sandwich all right hungry anybody i am i'm not gonna lie royal surrender okay just a rare there astral barrier anything else cool Okay, it's cool stuff, but nothing crazy. Okay, next one. This is a Flaming Eternity first edition pack. Can we get an ultimate rare? Come on, let's make it happen. Would be crazy. I'm down for a Flaming Eternity. I think it's four, but I don't want to ruin it. Let's just do three. We have Space Mambo. We have the Release Restraint. These feel so much different after those slick cards. Catnipped Kitty again. Okay, so we got it as the reprint and the original. Flame Ruler. Centrifugal Field. Chusuke, the Mouse Fighter. I mean, pretty cool card. I'm not going to lie. Whirlwind Prodigy and uh, Chiron the Mage. So it was four from the back. Element Doom. Okay, one more pack on this side. Invasion of Chaos. This is a 2017 reprint, which as you guys know, we have 2023 reprints now. So yeah, we opened a lot of those. It was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the streams, the openings of 25th anniversary. There's more 25th anniversary rares coming. So we're going to be keeping up with that in the news and all that stuff. Also, I want to remind you guys, in two days, Tyler the Great Warrior ends. We're going to be doing a live stream that night. So make sure you guys come out for that. It ends at like 8 p.m. Central, I think. So it's late for you Europeans out there. I know you guys don't like when you do such late stuff, but uh, I can't control when the auction ends. So hopefully I'll see you there at 2 a.m. your time. All right, Elemental Energy time. Let's go. So far, it's been an okay opening, I guess. Hasn't been awesome. We've had a few foils. I mean, the Dark Bright's our best pull and it's damaged. So <laughs> ironically, we are destroying this, by the way. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, some people hate that, some people like that. I just remember trying to open a special edition or a uh, starter deck back in the day, like Kaiba, and you would just rip them like this, and it'd be impossible to get the cards out, you know, because the, the sticker would still be on there. I don't know if you guys remember that. All right, it looks like we got the Silent Swordsman, which is probably my favorite one of these secret rares. The thing looks amazing, so let's just take a look at it. Silent Swordsman level five. I mean, it has a really nice, like, pop to it, I should say. I was about to say kick. That's not right. Really nice pop to it. The ultimate rare looks great as well, but this secret rare is honestly one of the best prints. The green in the background. I love green, so I really like this. I think it looks awesome. Honestly, this card's in pretty good shape. Maybe I'll grade this. It's a little warped, but I don't know. Maybe you could pull it off. Then we have our three elemental energy packs. Let's see what we can get. Can we get an ultimate rare? One, two, three, four, I think is the pack trick. We have a boss rush. Blade Skata. Chthonium Palmer, Beige, Vanguard of Dark World, Inferno Incinerator, VW, Dark Deal. Wait, I thought that was an SOI for some reason. Ojama Magic or Oja Magic and a VW XYZ Dragon Catapult Cannon. I thought we had the Shining Flare Wingman for a second. I was going to lose it. Still, not a bad pull. We'll take that. Two packs. Let's see if we can get another fusion. There's a lot of good fusions in these uh, GX packs. By good, I mean collectible, not very powerful in terms of playability. Gateway to Dark World. Dark World today. They got a structure deck recently. Roll out. Hydra get on simultaneous loss. Dark deal again. W wing. Wild heart. Hey, we saw Tinker Beat Ocean and Wild Heart. Nice. Forces of Darkness and Oh, an ultimate rare! Braun, Mad King of Dark World! This is a special edition right here. There we go, a super and an ultimate in the first two packs. Elemental energy coming in clutch. I assume this guy's a rare, but I really don't remember. But wow, that looks really good. Check that out. Ultimate rare from EEN. That is awesome. I'm guessing not crazy price because it's unlimited, but I figure it's probably 20 bucks, something like that. That really helped the special edition side. Let's see what this last pack's going to get. 
Wow, if we can go three for three, that'd be crazy. One, two, three, four. That was an awesome pull. We have Azure, Knight of Dark World. We got a rollout. Scar, Featherwind, Wildheart again. Horses of Darkness, Familiar Possessed Wind, Oja Muscle, and we have a Pot of Avarice. Talk about an insane special edition. Pot of Avarice is a money card out of here. If this was ulti, this would be huge money, but this is also still worth something in the super rare because it's good in Edison. I mean, it's even not even that bad like nowadays too. Okay, old school, you got your work cut out for you. That, I was saying this isn't that crazy of an opening so far. Turned out pretty good. That was a very, very good special edition to turn it around. All right, IOC, we know what you have. Let's make it happen. Salvage, we have a Jade Insect Whistle, Chaos Sork, DD Borderline, we have a Burning Algae, Compulsory Evacuation Device, and a Griffin's Feather Duster. So no, nothing there. Next, let's do a Legend of Blue Eyes reprint pack. So this is also a reprint, but it also is Legend of Blue Eyes. One, two, three. Here we go. We have a Witty Phantom, Wasteland, Armail, Book of Secret Arts, Metabat, Green Phantom King. Why did that pop up so early? A Trap Hole Super Rare. Okay, we'll take it. A Trap Hole. I guess I needed to do the weird pack trick there. Hain Hain at the end with a rare. We'll take that. A Super Rare. Our final pack on this side, we have Magic Ruler. I feel like we might be going in with an L unless we pull something big. But hey, Light of Destruction Special Edition will be a great way to end it either way, even if the uh, battle's already over. One, two, three, four. Get that Blue Eyes tune and we might have the lead. We have Minar. Flash Assailant. Turtle Oath. For the turtle. Where's the hungry burger? Stone Ogre Grotto. Where's the little brother? We have a high tide Gyojin. Boar Soldier. And we have a Mystic Tomato. Very cool card. But hey, that's not going to get it done for the win. All right. Light of Destruction. You don't get to open Light of Destruction every day. I'm pretty excited about this. Hopefully, we can get that Ghost Rare on us. That'd be pretty insane. Oh, I mean, the secret. I was about to say Ultimate Rare. They don't have one of those. What's the promo in here? I don't remember. Soul Rope. Okay, so this is a super. I think there's multiple, right? Doesn't say. That might be the only promo. Okay, three packs here. Light of Destruction, a really good set back in the day. Three packs to end it. There's there's Secret Rare Honest in here. There's Ghost Rare Honest. There's Judgment Dragon. I mean, there's some pretty nice stuff. Let's do three from the back the first time to figure out what the pack trick. These feel very quality. These, these cards feel nice. Raging Gladiant, Arcana Force, 11. Or six, I should say. I can read Roman numerals. I know that. Tour of Doom. Demise of the Land. Good common. We'll pull that out. We have a Arcane Force 4. That's me, the fourth, so I should know that. Quick Charger. We have Substitute. Hey, one of these is banned. I can't remember which one. I think it's this one. And a Cup of Ace. Hey, look, they got the new couple of aces. Hey, so we can we got support, so we might need to pull this out. Just kidding. It's not good. Two packs left. All right, guys. If you've enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Don't forget to check out the Whatnot stream tonight at 5 p.m. It's going to be good. We got a Garganith, Lightsworn Dragon, Space Gift, Miracle Flipper. Hey, some of you guys out there. We got a Hero Mask, Dread Servant. We got Spell, spell Gear, not Spell Gear. Inner Pamphlet, Inner Plenty, Inner Planetary Invader A. I, that is the point of that card. Dark Valkyrion and a Summon Limit. A great common. It's had some reprints, but still very good. Our final pack. Nothing too exciting. Had a lot of destruction so far. So uh, last pack magic. Go Shreer. Send me some luck in the comments, guys. I believe that we can do it. We can pull something crazy. Old school Ghost Rare. One, two, three. This is it. We have a Space Gift. Gift from Space. Battery Man Microcell. Dice Dry, Goblin Recon Squad, Mystical Cards of Light, Limit Reverse, Garith, Garoth, Garith, I was trying to read the other guy's name, Lightsworn Warrior, Dark Disc Blade Rider, not the, the uh, what's the guy from IOC called? I don't know, that guy. And then finally, I'm struggling to read names, let's hope it's something good. Light Spiral, we're ending it on a common, but hey, we ended up with some crazy pulls here. Here's the final score of the battle. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy Hoppus, Choice 333, Michael James Jance, TCG Trust of Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and Anna Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barty, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey, something, I'm giving up on you. Sorry that I couldn't get.